Hey guys, I'm Kamei the Turtle, and you are watching Turtle Time. Today's topic is something that even people outside the fandom should find helpful. But before I dive into it, or before you read the little description, then here's a the little story. Let us say that um, funds are running a little tight this year, this week, because of paycheck not being like it should be, however, number of reasons. And you need a little extra cash. Outside of the normal stuff like garage sales, pawning off an item, or even donating plasma. Don't know what that is? I highly recommend you look it up. Today I'm going to be talking about cash back apps. I'm only going to tell you about three of them that I personally use. Now, I'm not being sponsored by anyone here. But if you want to sponsor me for some odd reason, hey, I'm not going to say no to it. Probably. First, let's dive into what a cashback app is. A cashback app, app is typically a, where you go out and buy a certain item being promoted in the app. And then you would typically scan the receipt at the end, and after you purchase it, and get X amount of money back. It's kind of like when you get one of those discount coupons at for uh, Blender. The three apps I personally use are Ibotta, Get Upside, and Shopkick. Each of these apps I have used to various degrees, and to various degrees of success. All three of these have it where you can get gift cards, or send the money you've earned through the app directly into a PayPal balance that you can then send directly into your bank account. Why should you use a PayPal? Well, I personally use it for a commission or when I need a little extra uh, get over the hump cash. But hey, it's not for everybody. If these apps don't work for you, Try a different one, and, and hopefully they will work. But always do your research on the app before you download it. The first app I'm going to talk about is the iBotta app. A logo somewhere right about here. Try and tell them this dead space right over here. iBotta uh, works one of three ways. One, and open the app. Yep and find a website that I bought as partners through. And then when you buy something after the blip, then you would click the website you want to go through and open the website through the app. That part is important. And then when you purchase this, that's whatever you need to, through the app, maybe you'll get X amount of percentage back from the total you spent. The amounts differ from website to website. So, read what you see and see what you like. Option number two, and by far the most common one, in my opinion anyway, is the in-store purchases. For this one, and you would actually open the app like what store you want to go to, find the items being displayed. From there, you would then purchase it and take a picture of your receipt, or if you had your loyalty card, wait X amount of time, and then it will automatically load up to your account for the deal. Deals typically range anywhere from 10 cents all the way up to about $10 depending on what item you are getting. Some items are any brand, where you just have to buy as a general item in question, like eggs or bread, and then you would get, like, for example, 25 cents when you buy that item. Others are actually brand names, where you would have to find the brand name item. Some even go into further detail where it requires you to take up a set size or number. 
creates the item in question that you don't get mixed, mixed up and purchase at the wrong size or not enough quantity. Option number three it, for iBot is actually the linking your credit or debit card. So anytime you go out, you can actually get an X amount back for using your card. I'm not 100% sure how this one, this option works because I have not used it. If you do use it and it works for you, please let me know in the comments below. Once you have gotten up to a total of $20 or more in this app, you can then cash out by sending it directly to a PayPal or requesting a digital gift card to a number of retailers that you can then use at those retailers. Doesn't matter if you cash out every time you get to 20 or just let the app build up for you so you can have a couple hundred. Whatever works for you. App number two I'm going to talk about is the Get Upside app. Logo somewhere right over here again. The Get Upside it is a typically a gas app. But depending on where you are, or restaurants or even groceries may be included with the thing. I haven't seen that in my area. We are only gas for me. The stations that typically work for me in this area for Get Upside is the BP and Shell. These are pretty much the only ones that are linked to the Upside app. How does it work? You would open the app find the gas station with whatever deal you want and go over there and pay with a credit or debit card. Sorry, cash and prepaid cards do not work for this. I have tried. Good, and then fill up, take a picture of your receipt when you're done. Trick here is you have only four hours from the time you claim the, the deal to the receipt. So you can't claim it at the end of the day when you got gas earlier that day. Does not work like that, unfortunately. There's another way you can actually earn money. And this is passive through get upside. It is the referral bonus. The referral portion of the app. Every time you refer somebody, they will get an additional 15 cents per gallon for their first fill up. And you, the referrer, er, will get one cent for every gallon they fill up. So don't expect a lot from this portion of it, because quite frankly, it doesn't. It's not a lot. Unless you uh, recommend the app to everyone in a taxi fleet or something like that, and they use that app religiously. At most, you'd be looking at it maybe 10, 20 cents in a week, if you're lucky. And that's where people with gas go for They're filling up. Typically, uh, this amount of cash back for this app is anywhere from 1 cent per gallon all the way up to 25 cents per gallon. I know that's not a lot, but hey, it adds up real quick. Especially depending on how much your gap, your vehicle, takes. Oh, and you don't actually have to be the one driving for this. If you know someone who always gets a receipt after filling up, and you happen to be riding their car at that time, ask them to, if they you can take a picture of their receipt for an app. If they say yes, great. If not, don't do it. They'll be all kinds of weird out. Seriously, don't do it. Now. For returns on this app, there's actually three ways. First is the digital gift card. Second is PayPal transfer. Third is request a paper check. Yes, that's right. You can request a physical check in the mail. Typically speaking, they need a minimum of $1 for them to be able to do the transfer. After that point, hey, go wild. Third app I'm going to talk about is the Shopkick app. Shopkick is a little different from the other two in that it doesn't directly give you funds, but rather points called 
and because it doesn't actually give you funds immediately, it does the point gathering a little different. Some stores related that are partnered with the app, Shopkick, have walk-in kits where you would open the app, have your Bluetooth and wireless on. Actually, I'm not sure if you need the wireless portion, but I know it's definitely Bluetooth. Cause, and simply walk near a store. And you'll get anywhere between 10 to 100 kits. Next portion, and once you walk into the store, open the app, find the store you're at, and find an item being being displayed in the app. Then you would scan the barcode. This will grant you anywhere between 10 and to about 100 kits, really. That I've seen, anyway. Hey, per item. But you can only skin the item once every few days. That's the trend and cheat. And so you can't just scan the same item 300 times and get 300 kicks. Doesn't work like that. Third option is to buy the item that you have just per you just scanned. Let's say it's a light bulb, for example. You go into the store with the walk-ins, and you get the walk-in kick. Then you find the light bulb you want, and it happens to be in the app. You scan the barcode, that's an additional 10 kicks. You're up to 20. And what's this? When you buy it, it is an additional 300 kicks. That's 320 kicks right there. Now, there's nothing to say you have to buy the item. You can just walk around the store and scan all the items on the app for it. Okay, every little bit helps, right? The fourth way is to actually link a card. How does that portion work? Once again, I don't know. I have done that portion. But you typically get like three kicks per one dollar spent. On occasion, Andy Yan pretzels will be a part of this app. I'm not sure if they're going to be from this point on in the future, as they're currently not. But I'm hoping they are because yum. That one gives you about mm, mm, 10 kicks per, per dollar spent. So, hey, slow build, but better than nothing, right? Now, now, uh, once you get to a set number of kicks in the app, yeah, but you can choose to have them send you a gift card, a PayPal transfer of ten to twenty-five dollars, or even a Vespa for one point nine million kicks. Yeah, that one's going to take for you forever, even if you do all the methods. Look at it. If any of these apps sound interesting to you. And you have reviewed them. I'm going to list my promo code. But my promo codes in the comments, but in the description below, with a little description right next to it on why you should use those ones. Once again, I'm not being sponsored by any of these apps, nor am I getting paid to use them, except for what I get from them um, through personal effort. If any of these apps work for you, great. If none of these apps work for you, oh well. Do you use any other apps that you personally love? Please let me know in the comments below. Alright, this video is done. If you liked what you saw and want more, subscribe to my channel if you're not already. Hit that bell for notifications when my next video airs. Leave a comment or maybe a like. And I hope to see you all next time. Johnny.